On October 1, 2024, America celebrated a momentous occasion. Jimmy Carter, the 39th president, turned 100 years old. He is the first U.S. president to reach this centennial birthday. A life lived with purpose, integrity, and service. From Plains, Georgia to the world stage, he left an indelible mark. His journey shows the power of humility and perseverance. Leadership defined by compassion. A tapestry woven with threads of service, dedicated to peacemaking and human rights. His legacy is one of action. As we celebrate, let us reflect on his life and lessons. A shining example of the difference one person can make. Jimmy Carter's roots run deep in the soil of Plains, Georgia. Born in 1924, he grew up amidst peanut farms and a close-knit community. These early experiences instilled in him values of hard work and integrity. After the Naval Academy, Carter managed the family peanut business. He entered local politics, serving in the Georgia State Senate. His 1970 gubernatorial win marked his rise to national prominence. In 1976, he launched his bid for the presidency. Jimmy Carter's presidency, from 1977 to 1981, was a time of both triumph and tribulation. He took office during a period of economic instability and international uncertainty. The shadow of the Vietnam War still loomed large, and the Cold War continued to cast a chill over global relations. Despite these challenges, Carter remained steadfast in his commitment to peace, human rights, and addressing global issues. He made human rights a cornerstone of his foreign policy, advocating for the release of political prisoners and speaking out against oppressive regimes. Domestically, Carter faced an uphill battle against soaring inflation and an energy crisis. He implemented policies aimed at conserving energy and reducing America's dependence on foreign oil. However, these efforts were met with mixed results. Carter's presidency was also marked by significant foreign policy achievements. He played a pivotal role in brokering the historic Camp David Accords between Israel and Egypt. This landmark agreement paved the way for a peace treaty between the two nations, a testament to Carter's unwavering commitment to diplomacy and peacemaking. The Camp David Accords stand as one of Jimmy Carter's most significant achievements in foreign policy. In 1978, he invited Egyptian President Anwar Sadat and Israeli Prime Minister Menachem begin to Camp David, the presidential retreat in Maryland. For 13 tense days, Carter worked tirelessly to bridge the divide between the two leaders. He understood the deep-seated mistrust and animosity that existed between Israel and Egypt, but he also recognized the potential for peace. Carter's patience, empathy, and unwavering belief in the power of dialogue proved instrumental in breaking down barriers. He facilitated frank and open discussions, encouraging both sides to see beyond their differences and find common ground. The resulting Camp David Accords, signed on September 17, 1978, were a testament to the power of diplomacy and a victory for peace in the Middle East. The Accords led to the signing of a formal peace treaty between Egypt and Israel in 1979, marking a turning point in relations between the two countries. Section 5. A Legacy Forged in Peace Although Jimmy Carter's time in the White House was cut short, his commitment to public service did not end. It was the beginning of a remarkable second act. Carter returned to Georgia to dedicate himself to humanitarian work and advocacy for peace and justice. With his wife, Rosalind, he founded the Carter Center, advancing human rights and alleviating suffering. The center tackled disease eradication, conflict resolution, and election monitoring. Carter traveled the globe, working to improve the lives of the most vulnerable. His work earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. Section 6. The Carter Center. A Beacon of Hope. The Carter Center, headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, stands as a testament to Jimmy Carter's unwavering belief in the power of peace, diplomacy, 
and human ingenuity to solve the world's most pressing problems. Since its inception in 1982, the Carter Center has worked tirelessly to improve the lives of millions of people around the globe. It has spearheaded initiatives to eradicate debilitating diseases, promote fair and democratic elections, and resolve conflicts peacefully. One of the Center's most notable achievements has been its work in combating Guinea worm disease. This debilitating parasitic disease, once prevalent in parts of Africa and Asia, has been brought to the brink of eradication through the Center's tireless efforts. In addition to its health programs, the Carter Center has played a vital role in promoting democracy and human rights. It has monitored elections in over 110 countries, working to ensure free, fair, and peaceful democratic processes. Section 7. Battling Disease. Building Hope. The Carter Center has made remarkable strides in the fight against neglected tropical diseases. These diseases, which disproportionately affect the poorest and most marginalized communities, often receive little attention or funding. Under Carter's leadership, the Carter Center has focused on eradicating or eliminating diseases that are both preventable and treatable. The Center's work on Guinea worm disease is a testament to this commitment. Through community-based health education programs, the distribution of water filters, and the training of local health workers, the Carter Center has helped to dramatically reduce the incidence of Guinea worm disease. In addition to Guinea worm disease, the Carter Center has also made significant progress in combating other neglected tropical diseases, including river blindness, trachoma, and lymphatic filariasis. The Center's work is a testament to the power of collaboration, innovation, and a deep-seated belief that everyone deserves access to quality health care. Section 8. A Life Dedicated to Others As Jimmy Carter celebrates his 100th birthday, he does so not in the spotlight of political power, but in the quiet dignity of a life dedicated to others. He has shown us that true leadership is not about seeking accolades or clinging to power, but about using one's influence to make a positive difference in the world. Carter's commitment to service has never wavered, even in the face of personal challenges. His unwavering faith, his deep love for his family, and his unshakable belief in the goodness of humanity have sustained him through thick and thin. His life is a testament to the power of one person to make a difference. He has shown us that even small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect, creating positive change that extends far beyond ourselves. Section 9. Celebrating a Milestone Jimmy Carter's 100th birthday is a cause for celebration not only in the United States, but around the world. It is a testament to a life well lived, a life dedicated to peace, justice, and the betterment of humanity. In his hometown of Plains, Georgia, the community came together to honor their native son. They held a special concert, sharing stories and memories of the man who had risen from humble beginnings to become a global icon of peace and compassion. The Carter Center hosted a musical gala in Atlanta, bringing together artists, dignitaries, and people from all walks of life to celebrate Carter's legacy and to raise funds to support the center's ongoing work. But perhaps the most fitting tribute to Jimmy Carter is the outpouring of love and gratitude from people around the world. From heads of state to everyday citizens, messages of appreciation poured in, recognizing Carter's unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. Section 10. An Enduring Inspiration Jimmy Carter's life and legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. He has shown us that true leadership is not about power or prestige, but about humility, empathy, and an unwavering commitment to service. He has taught us that peace is not the absence of conflict, but the tireless pursuit of dialogue, understanding, and reconciliation. He has demonstrated that even in the face of adversity, we must never lose faith in the power of hope, compassion, and the human spirit to overcome challenges